Hey, what's happening, guys? The Amazing Spider-Man 2 Prelude graphic novels are already available for pre-order at Amazon.com. Now, the novel includes The Amazing Spider-Man 2, the movie adaption book, a retelling of the first film story, the reprints of Rhinos and Electro's origins, Amazing Spider-Man issue 9 and issue 41, and finally, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 Cinematic Infinite Comic 2014. Now, the title will be released on, on April 22nd, but I've managed to get a copy of the Cinematic Infinite comic a little bit earlier, and what's great about it is that it actually explains why Peter decided to create a new costume. Now, if you don't want to find this out yet and want to wait for the actual book, then you might want to avoid watching this. I cannot show you the actual panels, but I will give you the detailed description. Now, basically, the book starts with Spidey and Gwen talking on the phone, and Peter tells Gwen that now he's working for that guy Jameson and Daily Bugle, and he needs to take some photos. Gwen suggests Peter an idea of a new costume, which will be simpler, more expressive, and overall will look better on the photos. Later in the comic we see Spidey catching a bunch of crooks who transport some sort of equipment, and once Spidey catches them, one of them reveals that they are working for a bunch of heavy hitter Russians, who are interested in high-end technology. Now, neither Oscorp or Alexei are mentioned, but presumably Alexei is part of this group, if not its actual leader. So the Russians are already introduced in the Prelude comic book before The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now, one of the crook tells Spidey to go to a warehouse tonight. We then see Spidey arriving at the warehouse and dealing with a bunch of Russian bad guys. Now, after dealing with a bunch of them, Spidey goes deeper into the warehouse and finds himself on a small bridge uh, right above a huge centrifuge which looks like a plane engine and it's supposed to be a, some sort of piece of technology. Now, it turns out to be a trap. One of the Russians actually turns on the centrifuge and Spidey falls right into it. His costume, as well as his mask, gets completely destroyed, but Peter manages to escape this crazy whirlpool inside the centrifuge and deals with the last bad guy in the warehouse. Basically, the book ends with Peter in a subway car, drawing a sketch for his The Amazing Spider-Man 2 mask, and mentioning that Gwen was right about the new costume. So basically, that's how Peter gets his new costume. Now, personally, I don't think there will be a reference to the old costume in the actual film. Seeing how this book will explain the reason Peter brings up the new suit, it's simply not needed. Regardless, pre-order the titles right now at Amazon.com and get your movie comic alongside the film. Thanks for watching, and I'm out for now.